Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. And today we are going to be discussing the case, uh, the disappearance of Kai Kamen Welch. He went by Kai, but that was his full name. And um, was originally going to be posting another hiking video, and I came across this case, and it really hasn't gotten a lot of media attention, and it's very recent. So I wanted to do at least a short video, and you know, help get the word out, and hopefully maybe it'll. You know, more eyes the better. So, um, Kai went missing on August 12th of this year uh, from the Weaver's Needle Vista viewpoint at about 7.15 p.m. This is in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. Kai is roughly six feet tall, about 200 pounds, brown, buzz cut hair, hazel eyes, and he was last seen wearing a black um, Ghostbusters t-shirt and army style black boots. And he was with a family member and he told his family um, that he just wanted to go off and get a better uh, view of the sun right there at Weaver's Needle. Uh, Kai is 25 years old and he was working as a tattoo artist in Mesa, Arizona. And he was from uh, Casper originally. So Kai went missing on August 12th, 2020 in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. Uh, he was last seen walking southeast from the parking area of Weaver's Needle Vista Point near State Route 88 in the Tonto National Forest. Uh, he was working with his uncle, uh, doing some AC report work up in the Tortilla Flat Factory that day. And on their way home, they decided to stop at Weaver's Needle Vista, you know, check out the views. And uh, he told his uncle that he wanted to get a better view of the sunset and walked southeast from the parking lot towards Weaver's Needle. He was definitely a very experienced outdoorsman, but at this point he had no food or water with him. So, And apparently the temperatures were soaring at this point. It was over 100 degrees. Now the Tonto National Forest encompasses over two mil, almost 3 million acres and is the largest of six national forests in Arizona and is the fifth, fifth national, uh, largest national park in the United States. Kai was last seen around 7.15 p.m. that night, and an extensive search uh, by the SAR did not uh, turn up anything, no body, no clothes, nothing. Uh, they thoroughly searched the area surrounding Weaver's Needle Vista on the east side of 88. Teams on foot in the baking temperatures were accompanied by tracker dogs, horseback riders, drones, and helicopters equipped with infrared technology. Volunteers and friends of Cayman, Cayman I'm not sure how to say it, the full thing, but he goes by Kai, began searching the west side of 88 mid-October of this year. So just a few weeks ago, really. Uh, his family has spent a lot of time, you know, trying to figure out what possibly could have gone wrong, looking at maps, hiking routes, and it's possible that he mistook another rock formation that resembled the Weaver's Needle and proceeded on that route to an area deeper than originally expected and that hasn't been searched. Uh, that direction of travel would have led him into the forest water hackberry spring area and even possibly further into the northeast into the area called the barge uh, battleship or boulder canyon uh, there's been no sign of kai or any type of evidence since he's disappeared and um, it's very bizarre because you know he just walked away to get a better viewpoint of the sunset and unfortunately the media coverage of the disappearance has been very sparse not really um, very highly covered at all and that's really why I wanted to do this case um, like I said it was almost 150 degrees that day but he wasn't in a very remote wilderness area he was actually close to very uh, moderately traffic loops of the trail so it's just a very very confusing case. I think I misspoke before. I meant to say 110 to 115 degrees, not 150 degrees. But anyway, um, like I said, there has been no nothing since this happened. So obviously the family is very upset, very desperate for answers. I mean, who wouldn't be? And if anybody has any information, you know, I'm going to leave all this, uh, the links, and of course, in the description as well. There's also been a GoFundMe page set up for him. Now, there is some speculation that Kai might have intended to disappear. Apparently, he was dealing with some depression, but, you know, I would, I don't know, I can't speak really intelligently on that, but I just find it bizarre that, you know, you'd be off with a family member after work one day and then. I find it more probable that something something happened, whether it was an accident or foul play, who knows. 
But sadly, I think that often in, in cases like this, if the media or sometimes even the authorities, if they hear this kind of thing, like, oh, the person was suffering from depression, it's like they, ought, they, they write it off, maybe not altogether, but it doesn't receive the same kind of attention as other cases. And, and that's not fair. So to recap a little bit, uh, Kai is 25 years old, six feet tall, weighs about 200 pounds. Uh, he's from originally from Casper, Wyoming and he uh, was working as a uh, tattoo artist in Mesa, Arizona. He himself has two full sleeve tattoos on both arms and uh, hazel eyes, short buzz cut brown hair. And he was last seen at 7.15 p.m. on August 12th of this year near the Needles Point, or excuse me, Needle Vista Viewpoint area near State Route 88 in the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. Uh, he had walked away from his uncle, just going to get a better view of the sunset, and he never came back. There has obviously been a lot of searches, but it hasn't been as extensive as some other disappearance cases that we've discussed on this channel. Kai was up there doing AC work at the Tortilla Flat factory with his uncle. On their way home, they stopped at the Weaver's Needle Vista. And Kai, like I said, told him that he just wanted to get a better view of the sunset. He walked southeast from the parking lot towards Weaver's Needle. And he was an experienced outdoorsman, but unfortunately he had no supplies with him. And that was the last his uncle saw of him. If you have any information regarding this case, please contact 602-876-8477. I, of course, will have all this information in the description as well as uh, different links that you can follow if you have any uh, further information regarding this case. And like I said, this is a very recent case. This happened only a couple of months ago. So it's very important to get these stories out in the media and social media and, and keep them alive because this is when it's, it's, it's easier to possibly solve some of them. So please share this video. Uh, with anybody you'd like and please keep the comments respectful as always if anyone has more information uh, on this case or if there's anything i left out please feel free to leave me a message in the comments and uh, sending all my best to the family my thoughts and prayers go out to them i can't imagine how hard this is and i know i say that with every case but i just never get over the the pain and just the worry and the wonder of what what these families must be going through so my thoughts and prayers go out to you and all your loved ones and truly hoping that you find closure with this soon wishing you all the best and of course thank you everybody for watching uh, i know we all get busy with our lives and things are just crazier than ever right now but you never know what sharing a video like this or talking about these kind of things these these terrible disappearances you never know what that may lead to so please always uh keep your eyes open and you know never be scared to speak up thanks again for watching